So if you put up about 812, Brad, and could you zoom in again on George Floyd? Now, Dr. Fowler, can you see a white substance in George Floyd's mouth there? I can. Uh, and doesn't it look remarkably similar to the white substance that you were talking about uh, when uh, you uh, were discussing the photograph with the gun pointed at him in the car when he was first approached by the police? Yes, it looks very similar. Uh, is it your understanding that when Mr. Floyd left Cup Foods, he went out across the street to sit in the vehicle? Yes. And next he was then approached by the police sitting in the vehicle, right? I believe he was first approached by the clerks from the store and then he was approached by the police subsequently. <laughs> so would it be fair to say, in order to say that the white substance in Mr. Floyd's mouth was a pill, in light of what you've seen, that would be jumping to a conclusion, wouldn't it? Specifically, when I testified, I said there was a white object in his mouth. That's all I could discern from that, and I remember saying that um, under direct. So you are not then either telling or suggesting to the jury that the white substance was a pill, are you? I never said it was a pill. I carefully said that I could see a white no. structure in his no. mouth. Dr. Fowler, if you just and, answer and my question. I did not want to classify it, and I didn't classify it. If you just it. answer my question. Yes. You're not either telling or suggesting to the jury that the white substance was a pill, are you? No, I never did. 